What's up guys, welcome back to LM Diesel. Kinda going a bit more vloggy today, but today I want to talk to you about where to install your Beans Diesel Sump on your 5.9 Cummins. Also just a couple like quick notes on just the sump itself and my thoughts on it and how it was to install and all that. So first off, if you're clicking on this, you're wondering where in the heck do I want to install this? So the first thing you should know is there's two places you can do it. You can either do it under the original fuel pump, but if you do do that, you need to remember that you probably should remove the fuel pump, not probably, you need to remove the fuel pump before doing that. If you don't feel like removing your fuel pump, then you can set it here. Um, I saw someone else on YouTube do this. I was a little nervous about like drilling and making it happen, but it hasn't leaked at all since installing it. And I've been running it for like over a month now. So let's take a look. So this is where I installed my sump. Um, you'll notice that it's right next to where the sending unit is. That would be that little kind of round indention there. I put it right next to it. And that does work. You got to be careful with um, just where you place it because it's a very specific spot. Um, kind of, there's a little hump right here, and there's a little hump kind of right here. And if you put it right in between that, it should work just perfectly. So, kind of in between those two circular indentions there, and then the indention where the actual sending unit is. Um, so yeah, this kind of gives you an idea of what that looks like, how well it works, and then I have my cables just fuel line running up to the fast over here, which is very dirty. But yeah, so it's worked well. I haven't had any issues with it. If you don't feel like removing your fuel pump, then you can for sure put it there. Anyway, just some thoughts on the sump itself. First off, so the box comes with everything you need to install it. You just, all you need is a drill so you can just hook that thing up there. And then you get it moderately tight, not too crazy tight when you're tightening it down, but moderately tight. And it works pretty well. Um, for these trucks, if you're running a fast, it is an absolute must that you get one of these. This for sure fixed my quarter tank issue. And it fixed an issue where like, like quarter tank, weird things would happen. So first off, like right at an what is it, an eighth of a tank, it would just run out and die. I did that twice. Um, at a quarter tank, it would like kind of sputter in and out occasionally, like whether I was like going uphill or not, or like if I slammed on the brakes, or, like slammed on the gas. So it fixed that too. Um, so if you're running a fast, this is something you for sure have to have. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. So kind of a shorter video today, just to kind of give you the information you need. But uh, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.